Do you know why Russians are so good at porn? Why? Because uh, they're the best white people at porn, them in Eastern Europe, simply because nowhere else is there a bunch of hot, poor white people. <laughs> That's true. It doesn't exist anywhere else. That's a, <laughs> see, you're a thinker. That's why I bring these questions to you. Yeah, I know that's got nothing to do with China, but that is really something to think about. <laughs> there are many topics and concepts we are all familiar with, but aren't exactly sure how they work. Each week, Alan Fitzgerald and I choose a topic and try our best to explain it. This is Explaining Things. Welcome to another episode of Explaining Things. As always, I'm your host, Jonathan Tilson, with my co-host, Alan Fitzgerald. You're the host, and I'm just the co-host. Yeah, okay. We're both hosts. All right. Well, if you want to present it, you can be the host. No, 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 you can do the but money. The, but the presenter has to edit it, too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Old arrangement works. How are we supposed to defeat China? Oh. They're powerful. They're no joke. We used to laugh at them. I read somewhere, China produces the same amount of engineers every year that we just have in America. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Now, that's a lot of math. Brilliant. Good at math. I mean, that's a pretty good stereotype. You could say they have a black belt in math if you really want to be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not a dick. <laughs> no. You should write for Trump. <laughs> All right, I, here's the line, Trump. I'm surprised he hasn't stole some of my jokes, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, he already took your kung flu joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It, it, it's funny. <laughs> They're a superpower. They are. We're a superpower. We're a superpower. We're still in charge for now, but measures have to be taken. Well, apparently, the Chinese population is dropping by 850 million or something it's, this it, year. They're getting old. Which is insane. They're getting old. Now, we're fucking less, too. We are. But it's not as bad as China. Thanks a lot, feminism. Yeah. I remember, hey, sweetheart, at a bar was a fine opening line. <laughs> Wasn't a big deal. No, I'll take. I'll make sure she gets home safe. Well, that used to be an acceptable line. You had her slung over your shoulder. <laughs> she's no, trust me, she's safe with me. I'm just gonna take her to her car and help populate this country. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just wake people up. That's rude. <laughs> I was ready for like a quick suggestion of like, all right, John, here's the solution. We have to poison rice. I love how you put that on me. Like I, you're not the one who thought I, of it. I put it on you. Put it like, Alan, I'm, you know, surprised you no, didn't come up with I, this. You might as well have thrown that line like I'm a puppet. If we got rid of chopsticks, could they still eat? <laughs> have to imagine if you banned chopsticks, uh, after one day, they'd never go back even if you gave them, gave them back. They'd be like, oh my god, this is fucking so much better. I'm not eating soup with sticks. <laughs> What do you call this again? A spoon? Uh, that's almost like Amish shit. They're just purposely living in the dark ages with their utensils. What are the Chinese Amish like? Do they all dress like Raiden for Mortal Kombat? <laughs> uh, the, the Chinese Amish are 80% of the population. <laughs> yeah, a lot of bicycles. The difference is their Amish knows how to make fireworks. That's... Yeah, yeah. They, they have gunpowder. Do the Amish have guns? Not only can Amish not shoot a gun, they can't throw a punch. Oh my god. Like, they can't even defend themselves in a fight. I guarantee they Amish have fought. Remember when I, that time I told you that I've won three fights? But well, we've got problems here. Now they got nukes, so that complicates everything. Yeah, whenever someone has nukes, it's like, fuck. We have to treat them like a real country. You have to actually pretend you respect them. Yeah. You know, you're like, yes, no, of course, communism isn't all bad. I mean, if you want to have four-year-olds working for you, it's great. Oh, yeah. It, it, it's, it's just not for us. The NBA wants to stretch into your market. Uh, just don't do anything too Chinese over there, okay? The Uyghurs? What? Slaves? That went away real quick, huh? We're going to have to look the other way on that. Explain defeat China, too. They're still allowed to be a country, right? Um, yeah, I think it, I think defeat means knock them down a peg and they're not as close to being a threat. Yeah, knock them down a peg. Yeah. I've heard a lot of stuff about the Chinese, like, oh, they're going to get better or, oh, they're going down soon. Or maybe the answer is we just wait a while and let them get old because they're not fucking. Yeah, they're not fucking. Yeah, I bet they regret not having all those girls now. If I was in Chinese, just if like I was in China, I'd be fucking a lot. <laughs> I love Chinese women. By Chinese, I mean Japanese. We're being stupid. Let's just cut all the wicks on their uh, fireworks a little bit shorter so they blow up in their face when they light them. All the Chinese have no hands. It's perfect. Well, they're missing fingers. They got stubs. Can't type with stubs. No. <laughs> <laughs> no you can't Their hacking will go to shit. We know we need China because, like, Apple doesn't want to be a bad guy. So they're like, hey, whatever happens in China happens in China. Yeah, no, I mean, that yeah. that's the advantage. I mean, our life would get worse in many ways uh, up until China taking over. 
By the way, thank you, China, for our smartphones. Yeah, thank you for our smartphones. I oh, we can't get rid of China. No. Think about, think about how much the prices of everything will go up. Oh, my God. We have Workers to, making a livable wage? I, know, I mean, you know. Making your shit? I mean, imagine a fucking $5,000 iPhone. Man, I think, honestly, let's stop overthinking. You poison all the barbecue spare ribs, okay? And, mm -hmm. you know, shit's going to take care of itself. I'm, I'm going down, too, if you do that. I love those things. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Listen. Hey. If you poison Chinese food, you would kill me so bad. <laughs> I have beef and broccoli we for could, dinner We eliminate another, every night. <laughs> we eliminate another every night. superpower, and we also eliminate our white trash. It's perfect. <laughs> Dude, Ch the Chinese food is amazing. It's incredible. Yeah. And they don't use cheese or bacon. I know. I don't like, dude. I know. But they do use, they think it's cheating if they use cheese and bacon? They, like, yeah, it's called integrity. I guess so. It's, yeah, I mean, you know, what do Chinese people do? We don't have better karate. Uh, the Chinese didn't come up with karate. That's the Japanese. The Chinese came up with kung fu. Really? Yes. I'm very embarrassed. When you write racist jokes for a living, you actually become, uh, you actually find out a lot about cultures. It's called integrity. The Chinese are human beings. We need to remember that. Sure, they're different from us. Things are different. Like in America, no one robs a bank with ninja stars. <laughs> but they are people. We need to remember that. That's true. You know what I think the answer is? We get away from technology. Okay? What are they great at? They're great at computers and stuff. You know, the Russians are too, if we're getting down to it, okay? Expert mm -hmm. hackers. Let's get off the fucking internet. No more TikTok. No, yeah, we start with, TikTok's done. TikTok's We should have been done with TikTok We should have started with TikTok. Yeah, go on. TikTok, they have too much of information. They're, they're putting fucking, we have impressionable young minds on there and they're showing them whatever they want. Apparently TikTok in China is just like math and engineering and uh, like incredible useful it, it, things. And we can't do the same thing to their people because their no. government just wouldn't allow yeah. Them to see our TikTok. So we're thinking, uh, you know, uh, get off technology, poison the rice, you know, do something with the fireworks. Nukes. Nukes are the, the problem with the whole plan. Mm hmm Yes. And poison Chinese food. That's probably our worst poison idea. Poison Chinese food. That, you, you're going to, listen. You, you're gonna Dude, what some... if we just poison the kind of, like, Chinese food that's American, too? So it's just white people dropping dead. <laughs> right. And Chinese, like, we don't eat fucking beef teriyaki, you fucking round-eyed there, idiots. There, there's going to be some friendly fire, okay? <laughs> that's unavoidable. And if you do all that... Um, we'll defeat China. We're not, but we're not going to defeat China. Together. Uh, you know, this is an unanswerable question, guys. We let you down. But next week we won't. Yeah, next week we'll solve a global problem. Bye.